Google just made vibe coding completely free, and this might have just killed every paid AI app builder like Lovable or Replit. Their new update to Google AI Studio basically lets anyone vibe code entire apps without paying any money. And after testing it all weekend, I'm really excited to showcase this because I know a lot of you guys are tired of paying for AI subscriptions, so I'm glad there's now a free alternative for you. In this video, I'm gonna break down how to use it and show a side-by-side -side comparison to Lovable so you can see for yourself just how good it is. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so let's talk about something real quickly that is probably a pain point that we have all faced before. That is using a platform like Lovable or Replit or any of these other vibe coding apps and building out your project, everything's going great at first, and then you run into this roadblock. You need to pay because you ran out of credits on your account. As you can see here, I only have about like 20 credits left. And if you click on upgrade, I'm gonna have to pay $100 per month to upgrade my plan. And I really don't wanna have to do that. So I'm gonna now show you an alternative to this that is completely free to use for you to begin vibe coding without you having to pay anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to Google AI Studio. If you don't know what this is, this is essentially Google's AI suite of different applications that they have inside of their ecosystem. And this is what we wanna focus on right here, build. This new feature here essentially lets you vibe code using Google AI Studio and it's free to use. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it now. So we're gonna see this interface here where it says build your ideas with Gemini. You could select whichever model you wanna use. I do wanna mention something here. One of the things that is interesting with Bolt and Lovable or Replit is you could either choose between which coding model you want, whether you wanna use GPT-5 or Clog 4.5 Sonnet or Gemini. Instead, inside of AI Studio, you're actually gonna to have to use the Gemini model. So we're gonna be using Gemini 2.5 Pro. This is one of those things that might be a little bit inconvenient, but believe me, if you wanna vibe code for free, this is your best shot at doing that. So first of all, what you're gonna see is you could see we could supercharge our app with AI. So we have Nano Banana, which is Gemini's image generation model, which is the best AI image generation tool out there. We have other things such as VO3, which is a video model from Gemini. We could use Google search data. So all of these right here, are AI products that are directly integrated with the Google and Gemini ecosystem. And we could easily use these in our app. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right, so this is the prompt that I'm actually giving to Google AI Studio. So build me an app that makes edits to your thumbnails by uploading a thumbnail image and you could change the expression of the person in the thumbnail. So say my editor actually creates a thumbnail for me, but I wanna change my expression in the image and I don't wanna take a picture. I could just automatically swap out that image of myself with a image generated via Nano Banana directly inside of this app. So I'm just gonna click on build and it's just like any of these other vibe coding apps gonna begin spinning up a preview and writing out the code for our app here. While this is doing its thing, one thing I do wanna mention is I'm really impressed with how quick this is actually generating a response. If you're using something like Lovable, sometimes it takes a couple of minutes to actually make an update or give you a working prototype. This has been very seamless and pretty quick when I've been testing it compared to Lovable. All right, so we have our working prototype. It's actually following the theme of the screenshot that I provided. I basically gave it an example app that I wanted to replicate so we could have similar typography and a similar user interface as you can see here. So let me go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna upload an image. Let me upload a thumbnail and it looks like it's not showing the full image here. So let me just come here and make a change. One thing that is pretty cool about build inside of Google AI Studio is we have this annotate button. So if we click this, we can actually draw on our screen. So I'm just gonna go like this and draw on this. So it knows exactly what I'm talking about. I could even put an arrow there or I could like add text for example. So this is an easier way to go ahead and make edits to your app if you don't wanna like text with a prompt. Let me send that off and it's probably gonna make this fix in one shot. All right, let's take a look at our app now. So as you can see, our text says, perfect your thumbnail expression. Upload a thumbnail and change the person's expression in seconds. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna upload a new photo here. And as you can see, we have this thumbnail image and I could basically click any of these expressions. So let's just say, let's make him surprised. I guess I should say me, cause this is me. And now we have this little slider function so we can see before and after and boom, there we go. I do definitely look surprised. Let me just try one more. Maybe let's say, make me look happy. All right, there you go. I guess I'm smiling, uh, that's kind of funny. But guys, let's now talk about what makes this different? Because this was built in like one or two prompts here using the Google AI Studio. But the thing that is really impactful about this is the fact that not only is it free, but I did not have to integrate any API in order to be able to integrate this image generation model. 
Let me go to Lovable and use this same exact prompt that I used to build this app. And then I'm actually gonna take a screenshot to try to get it to make the exact same looking app. We'll see how close it actually gets to that. And I'm gonna send this off, ready to go. First of all, if you didn't have a paying Lovable account already, you'd get a couple of credits in order to actually spin up a couple of previews for your app. But I could guarantee you before you get a working prototype or a working product like finished, you're gonna have to actually upgrade to a paid plan, which you don't have to do with Google AI Studio. All right, so Lovable built this app. It looks pretty similar relatively. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it out and see how it actually works. So I upload an image. Let's say that I look surprised. And there we go. That actually worked surprisingly well, better than I thought it would. And one thing I wanna note is there is a new thing inside of Lovable called Lovable Cloud. Has built in databases, has the ability to add any large language model or AI to our app without any setup. So for example, I didn't have to go ahead and set up the API in order to integrate this into my app. I I also didn't have to inside of Google AI Studio, but one thing I do wanna mention is inside of Lovable, this is bound to just images and text-based AI usage. Say for example, I wanna add some AI text feature in here to help me come up with titles or something. I would still have to pay, but I wouldn't have to add my own API key from OpenAI in order to integrate this. But if I wanna create a video generation app where I could take an image and then generate a video using VO3 from that or any of these different video models, I would have to pay to actually use my own API key and I would also have to set up my own API key, which might be a pain to do so. Inside of Google AI Studio, I actually built this app that allows you to upload an image, write in a prompt, and we'll turn that into a video. Let me show you real quickly how this works. And this took me literally one prompt to build. All right, so it took this image up here all of this cat and turn it into this video. You could either download this video or create another one. But the reason I wanted to even do that is because what I would have to do is I'd have to integrate my own API key, which would be a bit of a pain to be able to do that. Google AI Studio makes that extremely easy for integrating video models. I wanna go back to this example of our thumbnail editing app. So yes, Lovable was able to make this really easily because of the new Lovable Cloud that they just added to their platform. However, I do wanna mention that on top of paying for your monthly subscription to use Lovable in order to have access to a bunch of different credits inside of your platform. You're gonna also have to pay on top of that for usage for whatever AI model you're using. This is using Nano Banana, which is Gemini's image generation model, just like our app and AI studio is doing, but we're gonna have to pay on top of our subscription per image generation, and that's gonna be charged to the card we have on file inside of Lovable. I do wanna mention the only thing that we need to pay for inside of AI Studio for Google is we need to pay for the API usage for whenever it does generate an image here or a video, for example. So we will need to actually set up some form of credit card to be able to do that. But a big point I wanna make is we don't have to build an app that is using an AI model that's gonna charge us per usage. For example, I built this app in one prompt that is basically Tinder, but for different clothes. And of course this app is not perfect. It took me one prompt, but I just wanna show you, like this doesn't use any image generation models or anything. This is just a simple app that we could go ahead and build directly inside of AI Studio. And it would be completely free. You wouldn't have to pay for anything. So guys, there we have it. That is the new Google AI Studio build feature that allows you to vibe code. I think this is the perfect place for you to start if you're new to vibe coding and you don't wanna have to pay for subscriptions for Lovable or Repler or some of these other platforms. So if you guys got some value from this video, make sure to leave a like, comment below what you think of it, subscribe to this channel. This channel is AI for non-techies where I basically break down complex things for non-technical people to understand so you could stay ahead in this fast moving world of AI. Anyways, guys, thank you for seeing the end of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.